Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris with Straight Up RC, and this video is intended to answer the question of what wheel works with your truck. That question might come up on a Facebook group or from a guy at the local RC store, or somebody might be thinking of it from, you know, a sense of sitting in their garage tinkering with their truck and like, hmm, I want to change my tires and wheels, you know, and they come up with that question. So they ask other people. Sometimes people ask that question because they have no idea what works on their car. They're new, the truck's the first RC car they've ever had. Maybe they got two of the same one or they've had three, but they really don't understand the difference. So that question might be because they don't know. And some people answer it in a sense of they think they should know, but they don't. So that, that, that makes sense. That's what hopefully this video will help with. Oftentimes people are asking because they already know. They don't need to know what size wheel hexes they have. They don't need to know what size wheel diameter. They just want to see somebody else's truck of equal or greater caliber with a different style wheel and tire on it. So they're just looking for options. So general rule of thumb when it comes to RC cars and this is pretty standard. There's a little bit of deviation here and there and a little specific uh, hex styles and whatnot, but standard setup for wheel hexes. Tent scale uses 12 millimeter wheel hexes on a regular basis. Pretty much any brand or any company with a tent scale, you can almost bet, at least on good grounds, that they're gonna be running a 12 millimeter wheel hex. Sometimes, like with the Red Cat's MT-10 model, you get a little bit of offset. The MT-10 from Red Cat Racing runs a 14 millimeter wheel hex because that's the way it's manufactured. That vehicle's got a lot of torque though, so that wheel hex kind of makes sense. Some other brands run very specific style hexes. They're still 12 millimeter, but maybe they're very specific, like the really thin, uh, the team associated race buggy that I have has 12 millimeter wheel hexes, but the front wheel hexes are extremely thin. So your standard wheel might not work so well. There's specific style wheels for these kinds of RC cars. This is very kind of an advanced level. Even though I'm not an advanced racer, this is an advanced car. So there's very specific styles sometimes. But again, the key factor, the number one key factor in knowing what wheel works with your truck is the wheel hex. And as you can see here, wheel hexes are gonna come in a variety of different sizes and shapes. You're gonna have things that are your standard plastic wheel hex that are gonna come on most of your 10 scales. They're gonna come in different styles and different sizes. Then you're gonna to upgrade to like your aluminum wheel hexes that are gonna be colored in a specific mannerism. Some people are gonna want a specific color like a red or a blue. And there's gonna be different styles too. There's gonna to be your clamping style where these have a clamp style that clamps down on the wheel hex but is also pin driven. The majority of your wheel hexes are going to be your standard pin driven. You're gonna also have wheel hexes that are gonna have O-rings that go around the pin that hold the pin on instead of a pin slot that are a little bit more secure. And then when you get in a, in a step up, when it comes to the larger scale style, you're gonna have other style pin slotted and you're even going to come across things like these. And these are your channeled wheel hexes or slotted. They're meant to be a lot more aggressive when it comes to the mounting process. So you're gonna have slots right here that go into a particular wheel like this one right here where this particular star shape is going to fit directly into those channels. And that's gonna hold the wheel a lot more aggressively than a standard wheel hex would because the standard wheel hex with these slots not you know, missing would just be a six sided stop sign that goes in here. Now when you go into the channel slotted style, you have a lot more aggressive hold onto that rim in itself, less likely for this to actually spin out. So those are really cool style wheel hexes. You're gonna have very specific ones on certain models like this square drive. The square drive goes into some of the square drive rims and wheels where you have a, like a square slot. You're gonna see this on Red, on Red Cat Racing's vehicles specifically for sure. There might be some others out there that have it as well, but it's a very specific slot. It just It's just kind of weird being a square. And then of course the 23 millimeter wheel hexes. And then this one particularly is a very specific model. This is for the Red Cat Racing Clawback. It is, it, it, their size is 23 millimeter, but the weird part about this is, is the aluminum iodinization or whatever it is on here, the colorization kind of makes this a little bit bigger. So even though this fits into its wheel itself, 
and you'll notice that it's really, really thin. So, I mean, you wouldn't really want to run another style rim on this anyways, because it's so small. It's so thin. It wouldn't hold the rim very well, but this goes into the slot just fine. It's just, it's a very particular size. And not only that, this slot in here, if you notice, if you, well, you can't put these in because they're the wrong size, but if you notice, that doesn't exactly work. That's not the right size. So, you know, when it comes to certain wheel hexes, they're going to be very specific in the sense of sometimes it's going to be a slotted. This, this is going to have to go with this style wheel hex. You know, when it comes to, let's say this 14 millimeter goes to this one particularly, and it fits perfectly, things like that. So that is some of the key factors of wheel hexes. There's gonna be some different sizes, there's gonna be some different ways to mount them, and there's going to be some particular ones, obviously. And just keep that in mind when it comes to selecting the actual wheel hex. The second thing is the inner diameter. The inner diameter is simply the size of the inside of the wheel. And again, some people know this, that's fine. But those who don't, they need to know that the inner diameter matters. And why that is, is because if you've got an inner diameter of a wheel that you're trying to put on an RC car, it's not gonna work because it doesn't fit. It's never gonna mount up because this is gonna hit. You're gonna end up hitting the parts within the steering system and your wheel's not gonna mount. So you need to understand the inner diameter as well. Third thing is, is going to be your offset because the offset is going to change or dictate the depth that the hex is into the wheel. Some offsets are deep into the wheel. So the wheel is going to cover a lot more of the parts on your steering system. Some are shallow. They're, they're kind of in the middle or even all the way back against the, the, like the back side of the rim. But the offset is what's gonna matter as well because if you've got a standard setup RC car with a 12 millimeter wheel hex, and let's say it's a street car, right? And you're trying to get this fancy aluminum street rim that you just bought from Tower Hobbies or something like that, but the offset's wrong, the wheel is gonna hit your lower control arm, it's gonna hit your upper link, it, it might even hit your suspension. It might, it might not even reach the wheel hex. So you have to kind of understand that as well. On the larger eight scale vehicles, it's not as demanding because there's usually a lot more space. The, the larger 3.8 inch eight scale wheels and rims cover a lot of ground. You got a lot of play in there. For instance, the Red Cat Racing Landslide, eight scale model, 17 millimeter wheel hex, has a lot of clearance in here. There's a lot of clearance in here where you can mount a lot of different wheels and tires because they have so much room. They're not gonna hit much and there's not much to you know distract yourself with or worry about when it comes to if this wheel is gonna hit the control arm, the upper link, is it gonna hit the suspension? It's not gonna happen. So this kind of setup is not a problem because, well, you don't need to worry about that. If it doesn't hit anything, well, then it's got a bunch of room. You don't have to worry about it. So again, those are the three main factors when it comes to selecting the wheel in itself. And there's some other details that play a significant role and we can kind of elaborate on those just a little bit. There's also going to be other aspects of mounting your wheel that are gonna be very particular. And that's these, so when you get into the smaller size, you'll notice that this is a 24 scale sumo tire and it has no hex, it has pins. And those pin slots have to go on the little pin that goes on the wheel axle, little pin that goes through, goes into the wheel axle, and then you slide this on and it holds very particularly. So sometimes you're gonna end up with things like that as well. Um, 18 scale, sometimes you'll get like a little seven millimeter wheel hex. Sometimes you're gonna get what's like a D drive. So it's kind of like the letter D, you see that? It's kind of got like a little shape to it. The Volcano 18 rim right here, it's got the letter D in there. The front is just a standard circle, but the slot on the back is a D. That way the actual axle that's got a, a groove on one side, kind of like a motor shaft, can slide in perfectly, and then it's got threading on the shaft on the outside, you mount it. 
you know and then again there's things like this whereas your wheel hex might be very particular it's going to be in this case this team associated model that i showed has that very thin wheel hex which goes onto these wheels which you don't need a lot of space in there because the the wheel hex isn't that deep anyway so this is actually kind of perfect for this and this is what this wheel is meant for so some of the other things that are going to affect you when it comes to deciding your tire is going to be scale and size of the, the wheel and tire in itself obviously on a 10 scale you're not going to fit a big honking tire on your wheel the wheel hex wouldn't work anyways but you're not going to be able to fit something that's crazy big onto a car that doesn't have a lot of space you can't fit that size not only that sometimes you want it to look scale you know this this wheel is not going to look scale you know what i'm saying it's not it, it's 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 not going to fit the scale of the vehicle so eight scale wheels and tires are usually not selected for 10 scale vehicles because they just don't match the scaling a lot of people change over and do it don't get me wrong and it's fun you know you've got a a 10 scale Traxxas stampede four by four with eight scale summit tires or something or duramax you know eight scale wheels and tires it looks really cool so it can be done but there is a slight factor when it comes to the scale and sizing of your tire and wheel because it's going to make a difference whether or not whether or not your vehicle looks kind of funny or whether it sits a different way or whatever the case may be some other factors that are going to come into play are going to be things like your actual clearance and can you mount the rim uh, especially if you're going to try and fit a rim and tire setup that has a deep offset you may have to get a wheel hex extension so like standard red cat 23 millimeter wheel hexes are short stubby they simply fit on the axle right away the wheel fits on it's got the specific amount of clearance and depth for whatever the vehicle set up to do but if you get a wheel that doesn't work and it's got a deep offset, maybe you gotta go with a wheel hex extension. This is basically an extension of the exact same device, but it puts the wheel mount out here about 30 millimeters so you can have clearance for that vehicle's wheel to not be so uh, overbearing on the actual wheel hub, the, the, the knuckle, the axle in itself. It's not gonna hit the shock, things like that. So the actual size and scaling and whether or not you can actually mount the rim onto the system that you're developing are going to be a huge factor onto which wheels you can use. Another thing that you're going to want to consider is, and not very many people do this, is the overall tire size to the gearing capability of your truck. And this is probably something that people make a mistake of right away i know i did i put some really big tires on some trucks that did not have the gearing for it or i didn't change the gearing for it and then they end up spinning their spur gear or roasting their motor because they didn't know you know and that that, that can happen I, i've done it personally so you just have to remember that the bigger the wheel the more torque it's going to take to get that vehicle moving that wheel moving it's got a lot more weight it's got a lot more size to it you know, for instance, if you've got a truck with some standard 17 millimeter wheel hex, you know, dune runner style wheels, and it's very, it's this size, when you change to this, that's going to change the entire diameter, the, the weight. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot harder to get this going on the vehicle setup that you have when it comes to this. It's a huge difference. Both these tires and wheels could fit on the same truck no doubt hands down they're going to fit the same 17 millimeter wheel hexes whether it's a landslide or, or, or an mt8 model whatever they're going to fit so that's something that people need to remember when it comes to you know setting up a vehicle even even something like the 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 smaller scale wheels and tires when you change from something this size and you try and go to a bigger size tire like something like this which they do have wheels and tires that are in the 2.8 uh, scale in size that this this could fit on this truck i mean it, it'll work it's it's but it's a lot different when you're trying to get the truck to usually or did come with these stock to run these wheels and tires it's it's going to be a challenge so that's something that people need to remember when they're getting into which wheels they're going to use because it's usually one of the main reasons that people end up with a failure of something on their vehicles because they didn't 
understand that or think about that before they made the choice of wheels and tires that they did. So again, those are the three factors that are going to help somebody determine what wheels will work with their truck. Again, wheel hex size, inner diameter, and the offset. And again, the hex size is the most important because hex size is gonna make or break it and it's very scale specific. So knowing your hex size alone is gonna allow you to go into the hobby store and look at the set of wheels and tires on the wall and say, that'll work with my truck because it's the same wheel hex size. So that's the most important thing to know. Again, the inner diameter and the offset are fairly important when it comes to understanding whether or not it'll work with your car because then you'll know if it'll even mount at all or if you'll need a wheel hex extension. I see a lot of times where people post on Facebook and they're like, man, I wanna use these wheels, will I need an extension? Well, if you know already what your inner diameter is and what your, you know, how your body mounts and where your suspension is, if you just evaluate your truck in a, in a, and keep those factors in mind, you'll get a better idea of whether or not you're gonna do that or need that without even asking anybody, so. And there's a lot of other factors that come into play as well, clearly, and other people are more than welcome to share their information and add information into what works and how it works and how they determine what they're gonna use, you know. But if there's any questions or there's you know, anything else you wanna add, feel free to comment. And hopefully if you're still sticking around and you're watching some of the videos, hopefully you subscribe and like this video for more educational or helpful type videos. And pretty soon here, I'm gonna do some in-depth review videos of some of my custom builds, which both the major custom builds that I have currently have very, very custom wheel hex setups. In fact, I had to shave down one of the wheels so the wheel wasn't as thick, and then the tire that is mounted onto it is completely custom. Um, the other model that I have has a wheel hex from a vehicle that shouldn't fit at all. I had to actually 3D print some parts for that one in particular, so it's kind of cool. But stick around for that, and if you have anything else for me or you need any other questions answered, feel free to drop those below or drop those in a message, and I'll be able to address that and answer more questions. So stick around, and uh, thanks for watching.